my god you see where my frontal was but i have a dash mount it won't suction to the leather in my car so i don't know how the hell this is supposed to work so i'm not even going to use it i'll just film like this when i need to y'all should be so happy for me i brought my camera today i'm about to run some errands um this weekend i'm babysitting my godson and mind you i have no kids i'm not even a big fan of kids like i'm trying to get myself together before i even have any so i'm trying to find this love for children that most human beings have to me i just be like ew like then i'm breaking out my face breaking out sorry y'all got that while playing but that face breaking out really really bad and i have to get some skin stuff so to target i did a silk press it's doing pretty good this is like day four so all right let's hit the Always be together, baby. That's what you told me, and I believe I don't never have nobody do me like you. Y'all know I'm a bad law girl. I'm about to get these meet and greets and see my man. My man, Bow is my man, no matter how old, how fat he is. I don't care. He's my man, period. And that's that on that per. I don't care if he's corny. I love a corny nigga that's been a coin. So he's giving very much that. I can't stop touching my hair, it's so silky. I had like did the silk press initially the first time, the first day, and it didn't get like this. Like it was really um still a little frizzy and poofy. So then I went in and got did another I went in and did another um with my flat iron and it's been good ever since and I've been starting to use this like um cap like the the cap that she used for a wig I put it on there trying to imitate a doobie because I don't know where to buy a doobie so it's been working but don't come out car yeah it's been working I also want to go see my grandfather's grave today because his birthday was on Thursday and the grave closed really early so I didn't get a chance to go and that was like my best friend so I have to stop by and see him my dad already went but I'm gonna go say a few words let him know how life is going and it's been going you know just been going like it's been good it's been bad I, I don't I don't like to speak anything negative into existence but you know, I didn't get the nurse court scholarship, so that kind of like hurt my feelings. Like, what the hell did I do wrong? And then I read my essay and I forgot the whole last portion of the uh, essay trying to hurry up and do it. So, I'm going to reapply. And I have really good recommendations. So, I'm going to reapply and get them to redo my recommendations. And then, hopefully I do get it because that's a really big scholarship and it would be really helpful. And I don't mind working two years for, you know, at a low critical care shortage facility like I already work at a critical care shortage facility more like a critical mental health facility in a critical area so it don't bother me but you know when you work places like that the pay is not always the best because most of the time they are like federally funded businesses or they're nonprofits. so you kind of have to pick your poison either you want to get this scholarship and get into the hospital making that bank or you want to get I mean don't apply for the scholarship and work bank and then pay out your ass for college or you want to get the scholarship dedicate two years to you know not having an 80 something you might not have an 80k or 90k salary so just dedicating that two years to that and look at it on the bright side you're helping people regardless like especially in critical care shortest facilities you're helping people that really need it and don't have the access to health so that's how i look at it i love doing that so um i don't know which target to go to usually i go out of annapolis Ooh, i should have went out annapolis do i want to turn around and go out of annapolis 
because these targets ain't got doo-doo. But do I want to waste the gas? Yeah, I'm going to go out of Annapolis. I don't know why I came this way. I'll go to Annapolis and then I'll get some coffee elsewhere. Because I just don't want to go to this Target and there's nothing there. Like, my boyfriend went to Target earlier this week and he was like, Lex, it's zero. Like, it looks like Target's about to close. But, alright, I'm going to put the camera down and drive because I got a little hike. So, I'll tell you guys later. Hi, um, can I get a grande vanilla soy latte? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A grande vanilla soy latte? Grande soy vanilla latte, okay. And do you have the um egg bites with the peppers and stuff in it? The egg white bites with the peppers? I got you. That and a croissant, and that'll be it. And about a croissant, okay. All right. I need the 1543 after you have the window. Thank you. You're welcome. I feel like you gotta have egg bites with something. And my something's gonna be a croissant. I mean, my diet starts on Monday, so let me enjoy my croissant while I can. Where's my Starbucks at? I mean, I have faith who you be. Gotta be Sprint of Beast that be clapping to the beat. Uh uh uh, she said her heat. But that's just the way I speak. I'm a savage in traffic with Mackie Levin's bed. And she's Spanish, I fly her to Calabasas. Shock Lizzy was in this bag with this verse, but it's definitely a DMV thing for him, so. I'm geeking out uh, uh, on it. Which card? Okay, I look like a crazy bitch with all these damn cards on here. I got my work card, my credit card, my cash out card. I can take that off because I don't use that one. I always take time to like clean my phone out. Like, all right, this is my main card. But yeah, I definitely always clean all my apps out and clean my phone. I can't believe this damn dash cam didn't work. But I'm gonna find a little pad to put in the car so I can stick it on it. All right, so I'm gonna go to Target, Walmart, and Little. I wanna see what Little has. Everybody in the area be talking about it. And I'm not a big fan of off-brand food. Like, I hate generic brand shit. So, it tastes different. It tastes like it was just in a, a damn box for six years. So, we'll see. If anything, I know I'll get fruits and veggies from there. So, I can meal prep on Sunday. And I gotta get my guy some, some stuff. So, I'm gonna get him some, like, baby food, of course. So, back in the cut, you guys go. I never know what to get for my skin. This is like body wash. I need acne, like facial wash. And I don't even know where the baby outlet. Let's see. Facial care. Oh, this is bad for you. I really just stick to survey. That's the only thing about. I need something for my face. Yeah, I'm for Thank you. cream the phone. Twelve dollars. That's why you come to Walmart. Target be OD expensive. I don't need no moisturizer. I have moisturizer. Hmm. I want makeup wipes. I think I said maybe I'll do a mask too this weekend. I had this and it was completely trash. This did nothing to my face. It felt like freaking lotion. I think that's it. I'm gonna do the okay. That's my face mask. Um, 
Yeah. Thank you. But yet, um, for example, mm -hmm. anyone on any of these in your household, kids could be on free reduced lunch. Right, sure. You get like. Verizon Fires, for example, 100% free. Paid for by the U.S. government. It's the normal fires that you have in your house. It's okay. You have the infinity or the house. Where's the baby island? You have the baby island. I'm trying my hardest not to buy no more toys for him because I definitely bought toys already. And he's four months. What four months need toys? It's like the baby food and stuff. I'm like hacky, freaking out. Let me tell you something. I don't know how to change a baby. I don't, I know how to feed them, but I don't know what goes in the formula, like how much or what. I don't know how to change them. I don't know how to like wash them. All I know how to do is sit there, talk, and like put on something on the iPad. So I'm high key freaking out. Hopefully he prepares me for when I have one. But it's a good two years from now. So I already knew when I already know when I get pregnant and I already planned this. I was gonna take a mommy and me class. Like and I might need it for a whole month, to be quite honest. I don't even know what you do when like they start sneezing and stuff. Like I know you put something in the nose and you suck it out. I don't want to do that. So, I know I'm going to need a nanny and a doula. It's just a lot. And I'm just not ready for a kid. I don't even know if I like them. I'm really like... I don't know if motherhood is for me. So, and I, I want one, but I don't know. Like, let me put it this way. I want a kid, but I know I have to be ready for one. But will I go crazy if I don't have one? No. Will I seek out adoption? No. Will I feel less than a woman? No. If I have one, oh well. Like, I just have one. So yeah. Well, work is calling again. I'll be right back. You can leave the city with all of these haters be on you. Only say you like me, yeah But if you call and you talk to the girl I'll share my world with you You don't waste your time Waste your time I mean honestly Open your eyes and see Cause you can lose your you need Waste your time You can have all
hoodie. Go get on a bike. So, I just brought my mom to Bath and Body Works because she is a candle maniac and she ordered candles. I like candles, but I'm more of a, um, a diffuser person. Like, I like the essential oils in a diffuser. And what I've been doing is putting Fabuloso in a diffuser and it smells so good, but I, um, have to take her to Walmart next and then I need to mail prep my food for the rest of this week. I have... My work week is very non-traditional, so that's why my life is non-traditional. So that's why I had to like I didn't meal prep on Sunday like I would because I was tired from that from my damn godson. But um, I only work three days a week in the office. Everything else is working home. Monday and Friday is working home, so that's why I don't have to um, meal prep on Sunday because. Monday I can make something healthy and I try to eat an avocado something with an avocado on Monday because I don't like reheating avocados and I don't like old avocados so I make that on Mondays or Fridays but I need my nails done and um Walmart I, I think I'm gonna pick something up I'm you know I'm working on redoing my whole room in my office space so it's gonna be a lot of Amazon stuff coming in soon I literally have credit cards and I don't like to use those because I don't like paying it back. <laughs> I don't think anybody like paying that shit back. I know I don't like to pay it back. I hate credit cards, but you gotta have it. So I try to literally minimize what I spend on, on credit. I try to keep it as low as possible and as necessity as probable, possible. So it has to be a necessity for me to get it. need to shower with is just water. Don't tell Tola that but he won't do it at all. <laughs> so yeah this is the verse skin soak rich moisture cream. I feel like I love moisturizer. Can't be on who wants to be out here looking like a dry old ass heel on somebody's foot the stroke of brilliance brightness around i think i'm gonna try that for under my neck see my thing with skincare i gotta remember to stick to it i don't stick to it i don't know walmart sales method method body it's like ten dollars and 
Target is six dollars here. Are you on that lab? So, I am running a tad bit late, and now I'm gonna hit traffic. I ain't get to brush my hair. I don't care. I don't have class today. I'm coming right home. Uh, this hydrating lip balm. I'm telling y'all, it's like that. I am making my coffee. I already made my lunch um, and breakfast last night. So now I'm just making my coffee to hit the road. I'm trying to stick to one cup of coffee per day. Yeah, I'm trying to stick to one cup of coffee per day. Um, we'll see how that goes. A little granola bar, some protein shake, a half of one because I don't need too much protein. Grapes and, and strawberries and blackberries. And then for lunch, I have um, broccoli, ground turkey, and rice. There we go. Okay, first of all, who the hell told Winter to just bring her ass up around here and said, she about to beat up fall. Like, it's cold out here. What the hell is going on with the global warming? Honey, I shouldn't have to have on a long sleeve and a sweater. And I'm still cold. Okay, it might be my um low iron. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold you. It might be that, but I need a bigger car. I really want a bigger car. I have like a little um crossover. I really want a bigger car. Good morning, sunshine. So today is statistics day. Um, Wednesday, I didn't go to Tuesday. I didn't go to class because my professor told us no class until Wednesday. So I didn't take my book back to school, me to work. And then he texts us that day while I'm at work, and he's like, "Class is today," and I live an hour away from campus but you expect me to leave work at five go get my book back sit in traffic for damn near an hour 
then go get my bag and sit in more traffic for another hour and maybe 20 minutes because it's even worse going to Virginia. Like, that made zero sense. So I didn't go. I just sat in the house and I did my work. So why is you not focusing, bitch? That's like a grandma to work. So grandma by day, died at night. So don't judge me. And it's cold outside, so I need my furry jacket. Anything I want to welcome to my non-aesthetic life because everyone on social media has like this aesthetic now and it's either soft life uh luxury life um low life low vibrations whatever the hell's going on and i'm just living i don't have no aesthetic i don't try to be no aesthetic if i like luxury i like luxury soft life i don't even know what the hell that means they talking about peace and something else ain't no peace in my life well it is my life is very peaceful but peace outside of my life there's no peace in this world like so i just stick to myself i'm not living no soft life i'm not living a black luxury life i'm not living low vibration i'm not living high vibrations i'm not into that spiritual sound bowl stuff i'm not i just live my life if anything i live a coffee life coffee is everything period i come to you thou today with the Great words from the queen herself, Beyonce. If you cried a lot of times, that means you will survive. So if you crying and you in school, you going through some stuff with your man, with your family, you going to get through it because you a survivor and you ain't going to give up. I just had to say that just to let y'all know that's on my mind because I was just listening to me, myself, and I. And she said that and I was like, that's some real sugar honey iced tea. Like, honestly, if you cried a thousand times, that means you will survive. Like, and God give his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. And whatever you're going through, you will get through. I'm just, you have to be blessed in the position that you're in because you can be gone. You can be dead. So you have to cherish those moments that you are alive. But yeah, I'm still trying to put this down. That. I'm still trying to put this damn thing together. I don't, it don't go on my dashboard. And if I hang it up, the camera gonna be hanging upside down. Like, it's gonna be like this. I mean, I guess it's still gonna film, but it's just gonna be in my way. So, I'm gonna try to find a suction pad to put in there that will cover it. Cause yeah, it's not working. Well, let me stick, stick it to my dashboard. So y'all, we doing a taste test right now because everybody be getting these matcha tea lattes. I'm a coffee person, I don't drink tea. I, I like tea, but I like it like in certain elements, like I have to be in a certain mood for some tea. So um, matcha tea latte, I got a tall because I didn't know how it was gonna taste. Honestly, if I could have asked them for a shot of it, I would have did that, but I got a tall. And the color is throwing me off like it's green. This is crazy. But I'm gonna try it. Alright, y'all ready? Ew. What the hell? It tastes like green milk. Was I supposed to add sugar to it or something? I literally did it as in the the app. Hold on, let's see. I taste the tea, but the matcha, maybe the, I don't know if it's the matcha or the, the milk giving it a weird taste. I can tell it's 2% milk. I've been drinking soy milk and almond milk for the past week or two. So I can tell that it's 2%. Maybe I should have put soy in here. I don't know. It's not really doing much. It just tastes like a cold iced tea with powder in it. I don't know how y'all drink these, but I'm going to finish it. Because I ain't wasting my money. It was damn near $4. And they say matcha got good health benefits. Let me see what matcha do to you. Because everybody geeking over it. So let me see what matcha do. It better say if I drink matcha, I get a million dollars in a month. 
because everybody is on this matcha craze like the hell it do it's loaded with antioxidants may help protect the liver i need to get this to my dad boost brain function i say that about everything that i got mm. may help prevent cancer promote heart health helps you lose weight i need to order some matcha maybe i can get in like a pill form Just give me my cold brew with vanilla sweet cream. It's only 100 calories. I know I can have that as like my dessert for today. This, y'all can have these. I'm not into it. Like, honestly, I'm not even into all the Starbucks drinks that everybody be getting. Like the dragon fruit refreshers and the strawberry lemonade acai. I don't drink none of that because I'm, I'm one of the girls that count calories. So when i see that stuff and i look on the app and it's like 400 calories for one drink i think that's ridiculous it's ridiculous and it's unhealthy you should not be getting half of a meal calorie for from a drink starbucks need to go to jail for that and then one drink i looked at i think it was like one of the new drinks for the fall it had 40 grams of sugar Starbucks is gonna kill y'all eventually. That's what the fuck. That's what the heck, heck he's gonna do. They're gonna give you guys gonna drink all this junk, and by the time you turn 45, you gonna have diabetes, and you are gonna be trying to wonder why. It's from all that refined sugar and junk and that stuff. Like, just make it at home. Figure out a healthy alternative, cause it's just not healthy. Eventually, I I I really don't see why y'all like it. No, I see why y'all like it because I did have a strawberry acai lemonade and it was pretty good. It was just too sweet for me. I, I'm not a sugary person, honestly. I have to like really force myself to eat birthday cake on my birthday. I don't really care for stuff like that. I think I missed the memo because like nobody's here. Usually at least two people here. Nobody's here. It is a lot of traffic though, so. I don't know, we shall see. But I'm definitely getting these lashes off this weekend. I'm about to do some homework. Not for this class. I should do for this class, but I'm gonna do some homework. And I need to box my mustache, but yeah. So you guys, it is 7.59. I'm just leaving class. What the hell did I just roll over? It must be a stick, but I'm just leaving class. And nobody cares about grammar and math. Nobody cares about math. Like, come on, dude, get your act together. And I hope I'm not in traffic. <sighs> Please don't be any traffic because I don't want to sit in traffic right now. But I'm gonna talk to you guys once I get home. And once I get situated, I'll check in. Oh, that matcha, I threw it out. I'm not drinking that ever again. She put me on to this. No, this is the K. Alley Apple. When I tell y'all this smells so good, it smells like a pink Starburst in the beginning, and then when it dries, it gives you very like vanilla, musky, warm, but also like a hint of like, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know if I'm tripping, but sometimes it gives me Mason nice France smells.
Thank you.